I'm multitasking. I'm trimming my nails. So today's show, my favorite part, where we're going to talk about what the uh, frozen yogurt places that are that are all over the United States and probably in Canada as well, and how people when people think of buffets, they may not think of a frozen yogurt place with their endless toppings. That's a buffet, isn't it? It is. Do you, is the is are these yogurt? places self-serve yeah here they are they have a machine you go up and you pull this arm and then the yogurt like and then you go to you walk over to like a little fixins bar they have all these little treats you can put on your yogurt you know with a little spoon like sprinkles and crushed oreos and all kinds of different things and then you go and you put it on a little scale and they weigh it, and they're like, that'll be such and such dollars. So it's completely su- self-sufficient. This was always a self-serve thing, and with the pandemic now, that's probably not going to be the case anymore where you ser- serve yourself. I don't even know how they would do it. They're all set up to be self-serve. Mm. The machines are all in like a big room. Like you walk, like if, you, if your place, your house, your fake house, you know, your set, if that was a yogurt bar, all along that wall where that stupid plant is and your candle, all along that wall, all the way down there behind your couch and your throw pillows, would be yogurt machines lining the wall. On the back wall where the decorative ladder is, which is stupid, the decorative ladder all the way across that heirloom piece of furniture that you inherited from your aunt in Yarmut. Those would be yogurt machines. These would all be yogurt machines and people would walk through your front door and they would just mill around like walking, like looking, trying to decide what yogurt. And at the bottom of the yogurt, there's always like a little bit that's like dripped and that's what the attendant does. There's a drip tray. When you do the yogurt and the little last bit like (laughs) falls out, that guy is in the shop. That's his job to keep those drip trays clean. You don't want like residual yogurt sitting there. So that's totally a buffet. And then you have the little fixings bar where your fireplace is. That'd be your fixings bar with all the delicious treats. So now you know. Do you have any yogurt places up in Canada? We have a place up in Canada called Menchie's Frozen Yogurt. And I think they're the same thing. Uh, I've never been there, but uh, I kind of want to go. I kind of want to go and see how... They've remodeled. What I would imagine is that everything that you've described here about, you know, this imaginary yogurt shop that I have in my living room now, what they're probably doing now is they're putting a barrier right here and they're having staff only back there. And then you come up to the barrier and you tell the staff, I want a little bit of this. I want a little bit of that and a little bit of that. And then they go back there and they prepare it for you. And then they come back with the frozen creation. I don't, I don't think that could be done because all the machines are behind you. So how can they, you need to see the machines in the fixins bar. Would you give them like a photo of the machine? I have an idea. I have an idea. When they come to the door, like where you are, you're like you're blocking your barriers, yeah. blocking all the machines and everything's behind you. They come up, you have photographs of the fixins bar, postcards, and you also have postcards of the, the ice cream machines as they would look lined up and they get it and they look at it and they circle what they want and they give it back to you. And then you leave your little station, you run back and you You do the, and then you go do the fixings based on everything that they gave you on that postcard. And then you give it back to them with their postcards and they mail the postcards to friends and family and say, I just went to Menchie's and had frozen yogurt. Here's what I ordered. So the postcard is like a little souvenir. Yeah. They mail the card and they said, have you, I've experienced Menchie's. You write a short note, like love, you know, miss you guys, a stamp. You give them a stamp. It's cheap. Stamps are free in Canada, right? 
No. Well, well, they're probably subsidized a lot. Anyways, you give them a stamp, they put it on there, and they mail the postcard, and that's how – there you go. It accomplishes two things. Operationally, it's helping you to select what they want, and you're not having to wait for them to go, what's that back there? And the experience in having a, 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 a postcard – really helps the pos- the marketing positioning of Menchie's. Does Menchie's have like a marketing, like a s- brand statement? Like what what is Menchie's about? It's more than just frozen yogurt. As a matter of fact, when I go to Menchie's website and I click on the about. About. <laughs> there's a vision statement, mission statement. They have a values, uh, I guess, proposition. And then there's the Menchie's brand document. The vision statement is to make the Menchie's experience available to every guest all over the world as a legacy for generations to come. Like they're really serious about their vision. I feel like my background is so appropriate for their brand. Like Menchie's like that light behind there over the world. Could yeah. be like there. That's like the Menchie's brand rising. Its light is enlightening the entire planet. Are you wow. ready for their mission statement, which is different from a vision statement? Their mission statement: We make you smile. Is that it? That's it. That's their mission statement. What the Menchie's is- brand document continues as follows. Within the next 20 years, Menchie's will be a worldwide network of identical frozen yogurt stores serving the highest quality product with the highest level of service while creating a happy experience for every guest. It will exceed $1 billion in sales and have more than 2,000 stores globally. They're putting this all out there on their website. I don't know when this was written, but I would love to know how much on target they are with this. As an award-winning franchise, we currently serve Smiles in more than 300 locations. What are they serving? What does it say they're serving again? Smiles. Smiles. Do they serve? I thought they served yogurt. What the? What's what's happening? So they're aspiring to have two thousand stores, but they only have three hundred so far. All three hundred are serving smiles. Yeah, there there are three hundred around the world serving smiles. Yeah. There's 300 stores in development. So that brings them up to 600, which is still not even halfway to their 2000 goal. Well, 600 serving smiles. Guests will be able to go to Menchie's anywhere in the world and enjoy exactly the same experience every time. Quality service, a quality product, a happy environment, a warm and friendly design and cleanliness. Menchie's is designed to serve all ethnic and economic classes. Although all types of people will be attracted to Menchie's, it will appeal primarily to families with children and people who seek a happy, friendly, frozen dessert experience with the ability to have the freedom of crafting their desires. That last part hits you hard. Crafting your desires. (laughs) This is a yogurt shop. (laughs) This This is a yogurt shop. Crafting your desires. That's it, that's it. it. Is this episode done? (laughs) I think that that mission statement is uh, quite interesting. Yeah. God. Wow. Serious. Yeah. Yeah. That episode. We're done with that episode. This is the last episode before Christmas. So. How come we didn't use? We should have had a buffet report Christmas background. Oh well, it's too late for that now. Yeah.